This tutorial is going to teach you how to use the Habitat and Biodiversity Assessment Tool within Chapter 5. When you first get into Chapter 5, you will be on the introduction page where it explains about the different chapter components and why it is important and so on. Using the column on the left hand side, click on Habitat and Biodiversity Assessment Tool. So the Habitat and Biodiversity Assessment Tool is there so you can learn how to maintain and enhance biodiversity on your farm. We recommend that you run at least one quarter section of your operation, but you can run more if you like. When picking a quarter section to run in the tool, take a look at which quarter sections are representative of a larger portion of your land, which quarter sections are key for managing biodiversity, such as providing a corridor between habitats, and then also any quarter sections where you are personally interested in enhancing habitat or biodiversity. So to start the tool, click on Go to Tool at the bottom of the page. The first thing you're going to do is select your workbook. For this example, I've already selected my workbook. Um, and I have also already input my legal land description. But it is a drop down menu, so you just click on the boxes and then the menu will appear. So for this example, I'm going to do Southwest of 94326, west of the fourth and click continue. Here is where I go through and click on the habitat types and features that are on my quarter section to improve the accuracy of the tool. The tool results are based off of your legal land description and the habitat types and feature features you choose here. So I have already went through and uh, chose these for myself for this example. But as you can see, um, when I clicked yes, it brought down a drop down menu. So I can actually check off multiples of these, but for this example, I'm just going to be checking off the one. Once you have finished checking off what habitat types and features you have, you can click continue and then you'll be prompted to the stewardship opportunities page. The stewardship opportunities are beneficial management practices that are suggested for your land that is expected to provide great benefit to one or more potential species at risk. So as you can see, um, your stewardship opportunities also show you the, in the column on the left hand side, they show you the potential species at risk that could be pre present. Uh, so it is important to remember these are just potential species at risk. We're not saying that these species are uh, present on your property. And then we also have the stewardship opportunities, which I will go over a, a little bit later on. And then we have the points. So stewardship opportunity points measure the impact implementing this practice would have. The higher the value, the more beneficial the practice. And then we also have priorities. So priorities are low, medium, or high. So for this example, we have a medium priority. So this is what you're going to look at when asked up at the top here, are you already doing this? So for this example, I'm going to click no. And then it's going to ask me, would you consider doing this? And I'm going to click yes. I would consider having patchy rangeland with a mix of short, medium, tall, grass and some bare ground. So under the stewardship opportunity, it has the desired outcome, which is what you want to achieve with your management practice. One way to do it. So as I said, this is just one example of a different beneficial management practice to get that desired outcome. When and where and then why. So after this is completed, you click continue. And as you can see, it has taken it has taken us to a new stewardship opportunity where I'm gonna answer it the same way. So this desired outcome for this example is large blocks of intact native prairie. So a large block is considered 160 acres or more. So I'm gonna say, no, I'm not already doing this. And no, I would not consider doing this. Continue. So it's gonna take you through three stewardship opportunities like this. So this is the last one and it is the desired outcome is protecting water quality and riparian habitats. So that's something I'm actually already doing because for my example, I have livestock 
and I'm fencing off my riparian areas and water bodies. We will then have the option to go over additional stewardship opportunities. This section is optional. But so first, we're just going to scroll down to the stewardship opportunity. So the first couple are the ones that we've already went through, uh, but I can add in additional comments if I want. And then this is the first new additional stewardship opportunity that they're providing. And it's connected blocks of native prairie. Um, I'm just going to say I would not consider doing this, or maybe I already am doing this. It's really up to you and your operation, and then any additional comments. But for this example, I'm not going to go through these additional opportunities or stewardship opportunities. Um, once you finish the tool, you will receive a habitat management report, and this report will be saved in the My Documents tab just at the top of the page here. Um, but also, there is this gray bar at the bottom of the page where it says Return to Workbook, Save and View Report, where that would save any of your additional um, comments that you may have put with the additional stewardship opportunities and then take you to your habitat management report or you can press start over and that's going to run the tool again if you want to run another quarter section but for this example i am just going to click return to workbook and now i can start working on my questions and ratings like the other chapters <laughs>